Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. This job's been outstanding for a while and um, it's one of those jobs that just sits there in the back of my mind and never comes forward and I had to get the RO unit set up today to get some more water and it suddenly dawned on me as I put my hand down in an area where I don't go that often because I'm not feeding my orchids and found that and I thought yeah, and the reason I got that, because it's systemic, was to spray the whole place. Now today's not the best day to do it, but there aren't going to be best days to do it anymore because it's winter time and it's cold. You know, it's 14 degrees in here, 15 max. And I don't want my plants soaking wet in these low temperatures. So the plan is, I've mixed me stuff up, big sprayer, hopefully one load will be enough but if not there's plenty in the box we can get some more going um, although, although I haven't got any more RO water until the unit gets some more but it'll take me a while to get round. Now the idea there are a few plants in here that have no bugs and have never had any so there are a few I can just miss um, and, and it won't matter but um, you know, there are some that have had some, maybe they haven't now. Some that may have some bugs and I don't know they've got them because I haven't studied them that closely. So the simple answer is to do everything apart from those I absolutely know haven't got bugs. For instance, this dendrobium. This has never had bugs, it hasn't got bugs. This phalaenopsis, no bugs. Yeah. So there are some that just haven't got bugs. Um, this is a new plant. In theory, it hasn't got any bugs. <laughs> so you see what I'm getting at. But rather than take the risk of missing out a plant that has got bugs, I'd rather do it. Right, so we end up with a hell of a lot of moisture in here. A hell of a lot, because a lot of this is going to miss the plants and go on the glass, on the staging, and on the floor. So we're going to end up with an awful lot of moisture in this room. So as soon as I finish spraying, I'm going to turn the dehumidifier on and I'm going to up the thermostat on the heater to get this place up to about 25. Now that's costly, but it's a one-off for now. I will need to do a second treatment. So for this day, I'm obviously going to use a fair bit of electricity on the heater. But my dehumidifier is saving me money every single day by keeping my humidity down where I want it and avoiding the need for the heater to be on anywhere near as much as it would be. So I'm now going to reuse that saved up money to do this bug spray. So uh, I'm not going to film while I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> just accept the fact that it will be done and I'm going to do it now and then set the thermostat, get the heater and the big circulating fan going, get the dehumidifier going. That's an awful lot of air circulation going on and raise the temperature out here so that I start to evaporate the moisture and as I do so the dehumidifier deals with it. That sounds like a good plan and it's the first time I've tried it I don't know whether this is going to work but um, I've got plants going to other people in the very near future it will be a little amiss of me not to have at least tried to make sure they're bug free. Now the second treatment plus some time for it to have effect would you know that's not the guarantee but as near as you can get it and these plants are probably going to go with only one treatment but I can let the people know that's what's happened and they can deal with it themselves so um, uh, yeah let's get going then <laughs> I'm dreading doing this because of the possible consequences of um, you know little delicate new growths having moisture on them going into low temperatures and we are going low Tomorrow morning, Saturday, it's almost guaranteed we're going to get a frost. It's, it's down to just a couple of degrees, even near the coast down here. So the, along the south and the southwest, we're going to get cold tonight. We've got clear skies, temperature's going to drop like a stone, virtually no breeze. It's going to be cold. So, uh, you know, not the best of nights to go into delicate new growths with moisture on. But this has got to be done sometime and there's never a perfect day. So this is the day that it's going to happen. So let's get on with it.